Um, Simon, that cast filled up in the end of the last week's game. You were saying that it's a tired team. Can you get them up for two more games? Yeah, well, that's the plan. Um, we've freshened them up a little bit this week. Um, we cancelled one training session and... Um, you know, well, we get a couple back, a couple of bodies back this week. Um, Alex Mellor's back, Colton Roach is back. So, but again, we, we lose Jake Wardle, and um, you know that's disappointing too. But uh, Jordan Turner, um, he won't be with us again this week. So, we've gained a couple, but we've lost a couple. So, you know, we really struggled to name a 19-man squad this week, which is really disappointing. But, um, but yeah, look, we've got two games to go. It's our last game at home tomorrow night. Um, Ryan Hitchkiss last home game for the club, so there's still a lot to play for, and um, you know we just need to you know, do our best with what we've got at this stage of the season. Is it, is it okay? He's going to play. Is it? He's got a bit of a yeah, danger, is it? it was a funny one, Hinchy, because um, he had a sore jaw for a couple of weeks, and we got him in for a scan. And um, originally they said his jaw was broken, but um, then another specialist said that there was no crack there; it was just bruising. So he's Hinchy's fine. He's He's, a, he's one of the tough ones in the team and, um, you know, he's played injured plenty of times before. There's no risk there. It's just a bit of bruising that, that he can cope with. He's coped with for a few weeks now. So, yeah, he'll be he'll be, he'll be be fine. It'll take a fair bit for Hinchy to, to miss his last couple of games. It would be nice to send him out on a high, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. It would. Um, you know, he's like I said, he's, he's been through some tough times at this club for the last three years, that's for sure. And um, So, yeah, it'd be, nice. it'd be nice to send him off with a couple of wins and, um, you know, he's... Obviously heading back to to Australia to, to um, pursue a coaching career, so um, yeah, it would be nice to send him off the right way. So you've got some youngsters coming in, are you excited to see what they can do? Yeah, look, um, obviously Innes is on the wing there. Um, you know, John Luke and um, Sam, they'll be 18th and 19th men at this stage, they won't be playing, but um, you know, the luck we've had over the last couple of weeks, you wouldn't discount one of them getting a run tomorrow night. So. But we trained this morning and everyone seemed to pull through okay. Um, you know, Alex Miller's fine after the head knock. Colton Roach is back after his head knock. So, um, you know, they'll, they've had a couple of weeks off now, so they'll be a little bit fresh and hopefully they can add something for us. Ollie Russell will play one. Oh, yeah, Ollie Russell's the other one. He comes in. Yeah, we've made a bit of a change there. Um, Jordan Rankin's been targeted quite a bit on our try line. Um, the last few weeks and we've, we've leaked some tries so Gasky's a bigger body there and um, you know hopefully that will make, make a difference to our goal line D. You put Gasky to fullback? Yeah he'll he'll def he'll defend there at some stage yeah so Ollie Ruff, obviously having him Ollie and um, Danny Bruff in the, in the halves well someone's going to have to play fullback so yeah we're just we're looking at it we're tinkering with it at the moment looking to next year too um, trying something different um, see how it goes so um, you know he's Gaskell's trained well there all week. He's been really good. It's, he's fit like a glove, to be honest. He's looked really comfortable there. And obviously, it's different getting into a game, but um, all signs there are that um, he could do a pretty good job for us there. Well, something with Jake Mamo. Is it his last home game tomorrow? Yeah, well, maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, Mam, Mam's at this stage will be going back to Australia, but that's not out of the question, him staying. But um, he's playing the left centre at the moment. So, um, yeah, we've still got a little bit of... Um, stuff to do with our um, team and recruiting and, and all that and while it does look like Mems will be going back to Australia it, you know there's a small possibility he may not but um, but again we have to sort that out in the next few weeks. Where are you at with Uate? That's a good question. <laughs> a long running question. Yeah no look like I've said before look I'd be very surprised if he's not here next year so yeah. What's yeah. taking all this time? Uh, well uh, to be honest I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. It's just some finer details of of um, of, of contract, I, I guess. Like I'm pretty confident he'll be here next year, but it's nothing signed off yet. But I'm, I'm hoping that'll be done in the next week or so too. What's happening? Uh, sorry, uh, what, what's what are you expecting for Wigan? Well, they're one of the teams. You know, out of the top four, they're probably one of the teams that are peaking at the right time of the year. They're, I don't think they've lost a game since we beat them here at home six, seven weeks ago. Um, so. You know, they're on a bit of a run at the moment. Um, you know, looking at their squad, they've still got a few missing, so um, they're not they're not quite at full strength. I mean, Lachlan's not playing. Um, Farrell isn't playing. So um, yeah, Flowers not playing. Well, they're not named in their 19, so um, they've still got a few to come back to. So um, we, we see it as a game that you know we can win. There's no doubt about that. I mean, the last three weeks we've you know the Wakefield game, we 20 minutes period killed us, and last week although they scored all their points late, you know that. La, 20, last 20 minutes of the set, first half really hurt us, defending our trial line for, I think we didn't have the ball for 16 minutes, you just can't do that against any team, at some stage of the game it's going to get you, and it, and it got us last week late, and um, yeah, we tied badly, and 
when you tie badly, errors errors occur, and then you go into old habits defensively. And um, we just yeah, we need to make sure we're better. We we're better this week. We do have got the momentum behind, and a lot of people see them as a title favourites now. Have you got a, an opinion on that? Oh, I think they're as good as good a chance as anyone in that top four. I think. You know, Cass have come good. You know, St Helens have had a little bit of a flat period. I think the next two weeks will give us a good gauge as to where they're at. Um, and, and obviously Warrington, um, you know, they can beat anyone on their day too. They gave St Helens a good run a few weeks ago. I know Cass beat them. and um, We can beat them last week, but they had six players rested too. So I, I think that it's it's wide open. I think any team in, in that top four can win it on their day. Win, they can beat any team on their day. Just a thought, Tom, on obviously the, the format's going to change next year. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, I think it was a no-brainer. I think mm. it's a much better format. I think, you know, everyone's a little bit, you know, you know, sceptical of the current format. Um, I think it's fair fair going back to the one down, one up. Everyone knows where they, they sit at the start of the year and what's required. And I think the top five's good. You've got old-fashioned old top five. Um, I think... I think that adds a lot more interest having a top five as opposed to a top four. It'll it'll mean a longer final series, which will be good. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm glad they came to that decision. I think it's much better, much fairer, and and um, clubs can prepare a lot better at the start of the season, knowing where they're at and what's needed. And you know, fair. You know, it won't be um, you know, it won't be won't be as nervous for a lot of teams trying to stay out of that bottom four. It'll be nervous for the bottom team, of course. But I think it's um, I think it's a lot better.